Welcome to Prayer and Coffee, and I'm so sorry to be so late. Facebook has been wonky this morning, and and on top of that, God has been dealing with my heart with something fresh and new. So, here we are. In Genesis 3.9, Adam and uh, the man and the woman, they were both called Adam. And so in Adam, in, in Genesis 3, uh, they ate from the forbidden tree in the Garden of Eden. You know this story. They disobeyed God's word. They fell. They sinned. And in Genesis 3, 9, then the Lord God called to Adam and said to him, Where are you? Now, God is omnipresent. He's everywhere. And he's omniscient. He knows everything. So God already knew what they had done. And he knew exactly where they were when he asked, Where are you? Maybe it was more than a question of where they were physically. Maybe God was asking where they were spiritually. He's asking the same question today. Jesus is coming back soon. Too many signs, too many things happening that point to Jesus' soon return. Our president just signed the fourth peace treaty between between Israel and another Arab nation. That's four Arab nations signing peace treaties, and he said many more are to follow. Why is that significant? In 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 1 through 3, But concerning the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you. For you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them. With all these things of peace and safety for Israel, looking more like peace in the Middle East, finally, it's a sign of the end. When they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes. In Matthew 24, verse 10, Jesus was talking about the signs of the end. And he gave these two, which break my heart, which grieve my heart. He said in verse 10, then many will fall away. And he said in verse 12, and because lawlessness will be increased, the love of many will grow cold. Well, we're seeing that today. Lawlessness is increasing. And many hearts are growing cold. And it saddens me to say that it seems like many have already fallen away in our nation and around the world. So, where are you in your relationship with Jesus? It's a question we need to ask ourselves. Where are we? Are we ready for his return? Where are you? Let's pray, and I'm praying from Psalm 139 this morning, a psalm of David. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down, you know when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You know everything about me. You know my heart. You know my walk. You know my life. You know where I am. And so I pray as David prayed this morning, search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxieties and see if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Lord, I want to be ready. Make me ready. Cleanse me fresh. Renew a right spirit within me. As we pray in the name above every name, Jesus Christ. Amen.